Hey guys, Gino here. Today, with the new Ace comeback, I don't know much of Ace's music, I haven't listened to much of their discography, but people have been really talking up this latest comeback. The track is called Undercover. I know there's an EP to go along with it, so I'm looking forward to it a fair bit. If you want to hear my thoughts on the actual EP, I'll be probably putting them on Twitter, that's where yeah, I usually post things. Links in the description. Anyway, uh, I do know a couple of their songs though. I was a pretty big fan of Cactus when it was released back in 2017. Seems like a very, very long time ago. And I'm pretty sure I did a reaction review to it back then. I don't think I've done anything else from Ace on my channel, which is interesting. Anyway, we're going to be getting into this, so I hope you guys enjoy. Allons-y. Ooh. Nice panning box drums there. Jeez. Can't say I expected this. Pretty full instrumental, very bassy. Flexible usage of synths. Sort of a rap rock element. That was the most K-pop transition ever. Bit of a crescendo there. Like the electric guitar for the chorus. Oh, that's gritty. <laughs> Love the delivering flow switches there. Wonder what synth board that was. The drums are a little muddy for my taste. So they could be just a bit clearer, a bit more dense. Ooh, those synths are weird, I like that. I dig this actually. It's a pretty intense blend. But overall, I think it just about hits the right notes. Complexity, you know, there's a certain amount of eclecticism as well. Some really fantastic uh, power moves. Uh, during that instrumental some really smart parts of production I also like the switch ups and delivery the ad libs uh, the flow switches when the when the rappers were having a go I'm not so keen on the transition into sort of like the second half of the verse with those vocals and the pre-chorus it, it sounded a little bit tacky at times 
But, uh, you know, the, the, all K-pop groups have those, you know, sort of hacky transitions and it's something I've had to get used to. Some really phenomenal production. I like the synths at the end. That was fantastic. I'm interested to know what they used for that because uh, they were piercing and powerful at the same time with a certain rev to them. Real power. Gave the song the energy it required to, to sort of finish it off, but also added a level of complexity to it. Highlight of the song was definitely sort of the second rap. First. That was really phenomenal. I don't know any of the members' names, but whoever that was, it was brilliant. The one with the dyed uh, white hair, the switch ups, so, so fantastic. The electric guitar during the chorus was actually, in my opinion, one of the best decisions they made with the track. Adding in that extra layering just gave the, the chorus a little bit more of a structure and, and sort of a full movement. You know, when you just have drums and a synth, it can be one thing, but bringing in the electric guitar. That watch a charm. So yeah, I actually really dug that track. Didn't really expect it to be quite like that. People were really talking up like it was good. And I gotta say, I understand where you guys were coming from. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. Apologies if I've seemed a little low energy. It's because I am low energy. I just finished an exam yesterday. Uh, university exams, obviously. Uh, I've got one more left, but it's not for a couple weeks. So yeah. Knackered though. Can't wait for it all to be over. Anyway, that's going to be it for today. Thank you very much for watching. This is going to be Gino. Something out. See you guys soon.